Well, happy to say David Croft has now joined and made it a trio here of experts uh, <laughs> from Sky F1 to talk about the coming season. Where do you think uh, Lewis Hamilton's presence at Mercedes leaves Nico Rosberg? What's he going to do? Nico did really well for me over the last three years in coping with the Schumacher presence in the team and, and all the questions about, oh, he's a seven-time world champion, he's going to beat you, you know, this, this is a bad move for you. And he kept very quiet, very calm, and just did his talking on the track and he got Mercedes win. Lewis will, will I think, get wins next year. Nico will have to raise his game to get wins as well, even though he, he got that marvellous win in China last year. But I think he's capable of doing it, and I think Mercedes feel he's capable of doing it, otherwise they'd never have thought about marrying the two in the first place. Hulkenberg going to Sauber, what do you make of that? Is that a good move? Um, as, I think as we ended the season, I think it was just a, a, a shift sideways. There's, there's potential with Sauber, as there is with Force India. As always with Sauber, they, they're always there or thereabouts. But to actually get the jump that we're talking about Force India, it never really does materialise and it's never on a consistent plane. OK, to close, boys, I'm going to put you on the spot. One word answer. World champion 2013 will be... Alonso. Oh, you nicked it. <laughs> you don't have to join me in that. <laughs> Alonso. Johnny? I think I'm going to have to go Alonso as well. Oh, oh, to be sure. Sure. Yeah, Alonso. Oh, yeah, Jared, thank you very well, much. you chose him. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers, Good morning, Birmingham. Thank you very much for coming along to the F1 racing stage. We had a fantastic championship, seven winners from seven different races at the beginning of the year, but then the championship down to the wire at the end. And Sebastian Vettel, personally, I think deserved it. Hang on, do we all agree with that? Sebastian Vettel deserved it? Oh, you oh Panto season is alive and well. <laughs> but, um, who deserved it? Lorraine carter Cayen? <laughs> <laughs> I still believe Lewis, on one lap, is the quickest driver out there for sure. He's smooth and he's fast, been my teammate in the past. Hey, that's a rhyme. Any more questions over here? Who is the most entertaining driver from 2012? Pure entertainment, Kim is always going to be up there. He doesn't need to uh, obviously say much to be entertaining, but uh, when he does, it normally is. Go. Nine seconds! Unbelievable! <laughs> Hands up if you think Pastor Maldonado deserves another drive, another season with Williams. I think a fair amount of you are convinced on that one. All those elements of the great racing you have on the track and also the incident add to the whole spice of what racing and Formula One is all about. Big round of applause though, please, for Johnny Herbert and Anthony Davidson. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the 2014-2013 season, I should say, coming up. Very little change to the regulations. Is there anything that says Red Bull can be beaten? Because, you know, we saw what they did last year. Were they maybe lucky last year, or are they going to do it again? Would you I think say? last year they worked incredibly hard. I think with the shift of regulations we had at the start of 2012, we saw Red Bull on the back foot almost, and they had to work incredibly hard to rectify the problem. And, uh, and they did that very well. Would you say there's any luck attached to Sebastian's championship win when you consider what happened, say, in Brazil, Johnny? I mean, is it, is it that? There wasn't much in it at the end, was there? No, no, no. There was, there was an element of luck, for sure, if you just take Brazil, you know, turn, was it turn four? Yes. But it, it was the intelligence that he used to actually make the car roll backwards down the hill to keep out of the way of the other cars. A lot of people would have just slammed on the brakes and stopped. Yeah. And then they would have actually probably gone straight into him. So that was an intelligent sort of Sebastian Vettel which is what you need to be if you're going to become a world champion and that's that's what we saw but I think following on from what Ant was saying on um, your initial question is can can people beat Red Bull and I, I think honestly yes because there was one car that should have done and that was the McLaren the McLaren really started off strong, which they don't normally do. They had that weakness where they had the problems with the pit stops, for example. 